Well, as you can see, uh, yep, we're down in the, uh, uh, down in the thing again. Uh, I'm having a chat this week with a, a very good friend of mine. We've only been friends for a matter of minutes, but it seems like days. She's, oh. hey, that's interesting. Uh, it is, of course, Wendy Jones. Thanks, Ronan. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Well, I feel pretty comfortable at the moment. You're good, you're relaxed. Taking it easy, taking Just relax, it easy. unwind, you know. <sighs> Do whatever you want. I mean, I'll get straight in. I'm here to find out what your preference is. You know that. Yeah. I want to know what you like, what you don't like, why you like it and why you don't like it. All right. But first of all, tell us why. Why oh. wh Why such a funny name there? Old, uh, old Transvision thing. And... Why, why call it that? Yeah. Oh. Well, I suppose we just wanted to... I started think... with a tricky one, I know. Yeah, that got me, that one did. Um, Go on, then. Well, we just wanted to kind of have a word that no one had ever used before, you know, and kind of sound like we were really trans-global, you yeah, know? Yeah, Pratt, trans-global, what's all that about? Well, that we're not just a trendy London band, really. And who thought up the name? Is it you or young Nick Slater there? Slater? Is that his name? No, Sayer. So, yeah. Tell us about Nick Sayer. No relation to Leo, one hopes. Not at all, funnily enough. No? No, well, I met him six years ago. And it was probably a month after I met him. Mic technique, <laughs> always mic technique. It was a month after I met him that uh, we made up the name Transmission Vamp. Great. <laughs> what about what about your influences? Because we need then? a really exciting life. Oh right. Well, it sounds like it. Bloody hell, look, you're down here with your friends. What about the uh, what about old Patty Smith then? Well, that's what? where I, that that's connected with Nick as well, really. Is that where it started? Yeah, because I was down at a club, you know. I was down at a club singing Patty Smith songs when he first met me. Right. And he said, do you want to come to a party? Yeah, dirty <laughs> old sausage. He doesn't care, does he? Straight out. Not even, hello, and my name's Nick, whatever his name is. No. And I was living with a girl at the time. Steady. And she was 16 years old and I was 17. Even steadier. <laughs> And um, she said, oh, let's go to the party. And I said, no, Zoe, because they're just going to try and get off with us. Yeah. Let's go home now and... Listen to Patty. Hang on. Hello. That... We're just, um... Having a... What are we do? We're just having a chat, really. Having a chat. You sign off for lots of different buildings and you pick up a fortune. And that used to be the only way to survive, because I was one of those people that thought, well, I'd rather be poor and work for myself yeah. than a bit less poor and work for somebody else who was a bit of a bastard. The old, uh, I understand, that's where you got inspiration from, a lot of your lyrics from the old Patti Smith, Bob Dylan sort of a situation. Oh, Bob Dylan. Yeah, a big fan? Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Yeah. Do you admire the lyrics? Tomorrow I'm only bleeding. If I could, if I could put this to you, the lyrics. Cause what's, this, what's this song you've... Oh. Sister Moon, is it? Sister Moon has nothing to do with Bob Dylan. No. This is what I'd heard. <laughs> You're trying to... Very is... astute of you there, Rose. This is what I'd heard. I was trying to get it confirmed. Yeah. Where did you used to play? Well, we've been... Uh... Well, we've played all up and down the coast. Oh, where did you what leave? You where were you originally? It's well, coast met... from. Where were you down went... on the coast? I met Nick down in Brighton. And when you were down there, am I right in saying this? Let me put this to you. That <laughs> you... You said that you sounded a cross between Barbara Streisand and Julie Garland. Oh. Am I right? Third rate. Be honest. Third rate. But Babs is one of your bigs, yeah? Babs is certainly a big old favourite of mine. Yeah? Definitely. Is that in her acting or her singing? Well, probably her acting when she sings. Great. Let's have a look at her singing then. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's Barbara Streisand. <laughs> That's good. Yep. And it's you've grown up into... Good. You've grown up... You've grown up oh, ever so quickly, because you're in the pop industry. You've grown up into someone that is known... Yeah. And you do... Is, yeah. Shut up, please. Sorry. You've grown up into someone. <laughs> you've grown up into someone who is known, quite honestly, let's face it, as the, the Nina Miscount of the pop business. Now, oh, what could that Roland, be? What do you that reckon? That really is a nasty one to fill well, out the well, bag, well, isn't I'm it? Well, I'm sorry, it's got to be said. It's you know, a bit near to the knuckle. I knock think you on. know what I'm talking about. Well, you don't have a lot of time for a lot of other people, do you? Well, I have a lot of time for quite a lot of people, actually. Right, go on then. Yeah, go on then. Sorry. But obviously, there are things I like and dislike, like you. You know. What is that? A like or a like dislike? Like anyone. Oh. I, uh, no, I'll come back to that. Yeah, one. We'll... <laughs> and, um, I know what you're saying. So when people say to me, "Well, what do you think of so and so?" Well, I don't know them, so I have to talk about their music. And if I don't like their music, what can I say? Oh, I really like it. And everyone kept saying, "Well, Wendy, if you want to go far in this biz, you better um, 
be nice about everyone. You better whip your clothes off, stick a couple of records on your tits and have David Bailey take a picture of you. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I thought, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. You don't want, yeah, you don't want to shallow yourself. And I must say, it was really nice that the press received it so well. Well, I don't receive anything these days, bloody press. <sighs> what about, uh, so you, I'm right in thinking you don't like old uh, Anita Dobson, then? Well... Be honest. Go on, Nina. <laughs> Nina James speaking here. Well, um, no. Why is no, it? I don't like her. Why not? Well, personally, I've never met her, but... That's a good reason, I suppose. <laughs> but in soap operas and rubbish like that and then she starts singing with Adam Faith who's another old fogey and they walk around and you see them down at Stringfellows on you know in this not that you I'm see them? You no, see them? Oh, oh no. a slip, a I've slip. never been in Stringfellows in my life I'm just oh, saying oh. when you Hello. happen to glance at the news of the world you see them walking in grinning wearing yeah. their diamond studded angora jumpers and what do we do when we see you? <sighs> you think there's little Wend having fun yeah having fun relaxing unwinding and whipping her clothes off. And so, sticking a record in front. Yeah, well, dignity. Very, dignity at all times. That's what if I was people had a sense of humour, they'd realise that what comes first? Your body or your music. Oh, and obviously... Uh, and what do you reckon? The music came first. Well, oh, like, like, yeah, David Bailey would appreciate that one, I think, yeah. A bit of a neat adoption, then, shall well, we? Because I, I know you love her. with half a brain cell would realise... Oh, cutting. Cutting? Near to the knuckle again. Always cutting. Lost the feeling in my legs now. Got a brilliant tan, if, if you don't mind me saying so. Yeah, well... I hope I'm not being too forward when I say that. No, you can say more of the same if you like. Well, I'd like to be a bit forward now, if I may, and just gently fondle just... the front of your blouse. Because well, I want to get... you see, you can't behave like that. Because I then, I mean, here in the water, I think it's funny between you and me. But all those critics will be out there and think, oh, look, he's just treating her as a sex object. Yes, no, again. I'm just trying to bloody save your bleeding bloody life, that's all. <laughs>